Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel A Monk in Cloud. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Jenkins on your AWS EC2 instance. Okay, so for this one, you will have to create an Ubuntu EC2 instance. So I am preferring Ubuntu. You can actually go with other flavors of Linux also. Okay, so what I've done is I've created my EC2 instance. Okay, so this is my EC2 instance. So it is straightforward. Uh, so if you do not know how to create EC2 instance, I have created a separate video on that. I'll make sure to drop the link to that in the description box below. You can go and check that out. Okay, so this is my Jenkins server. Okay, so if you see these are the details related to that. Okay, so if you want to just check the platform, it is Ubuntu right if you see here linux and it is ubuntu okay so this is my public ip so what i have to do is i will have to log into this machine you can use multiple ways but i'll go with ec2 instance connect method so if you want to go with uh, if you want to use public ip and then use putty or if you want to go with mob extreme you can also do that like so I'm going with EC2 instance connect. So I've already connected to my EC2 instance. So if you see here, this is my EC2 instance. If you just want to verify the private IP is ending with 91 and six. Okay. Let me check here. If you see private IP addresses is 91 and six, right? So I'm logged into this mission. Okay. First, let us check if we have Jenkins installed already. Okay. Let me type in Jenkins hyphen hyphen version. Okay, if you see Jenkins command not found, that means we do not have any Jenkins installed right now. Okay, so for installation, what I've done, I've documented all the commands that you need. So over the period of years, so when I was working previously, I did not know how to install Jenkins. I went through a lot of documentations. So in official documentation itself, I have picked this one and I've made it available on my GitHub repository. So what I'll do is I will make sure to add the link to the GitHub repository in my description box below. In this video, you can go and install from that commands. Okay, so I'll open my GitHub document. So this is my GitHub document. So if, first, if you see here, first update the default Ubuntu packages list for uh, up, upgrades with the following commands. So you need to use this following command to update your Linux, uh, you know, Ubuntu packages. Okay, I'll just copy that and I'll paste it here. Sudo apt get update. So it is going to update your packages in, in your Ubuntu machine. Okay, so this takes a couple of seconds. So wait for that. It's done, right? If you see, it says it's done. Let me clear the screen. To clear the screen, you just have to type in control at the same time, control and L. Okay, let me go back to my documentation. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, next thing is to run the following command to install JDK 11. So we need to install Java JDK, open JDK for this particular Jenkins because Jenkins is an application, a Java application basically. Okay, so I need to install that first, open JDK 11. Okay, it is pretty straightforward. So, sudo apt get install open JDK 11 JDK. Okay, I'll just copy this command and I'll paste it in my EC2 instance. Okay, let me paste that. It will ask for the confirmation whether you want to continue. I'll just say why. That means yes. Okay, so why? Let me hit enter. So now it is installing Java JDK for me. Okay, so let's wait for that to complete. It takes a couple of minutes because Java is a huge application, right? So it needs to install all the packages and everything. So if you see here, it is unpacking, selecting some things, unpacking some things. So it will take some time. Please bear with me. Okay, now if you see, it is done. Okay, so let me clear my screen once again. Okay, so now we have installed Java JDK. The next thing is to install Jenkins itself with these commands. So I've taken these commands from the Jenkins documentation itself. You can directly copy and paste all these four commands at the same time. 
okay so i'll just do that i'll just copy all of them and i'll paste it here okay i'll hit enter it is going to install everything in a single term okay i'll just say why just to continue it is installing all those packages and everything it takes some time Okay, after some time, it installed uh, Jenkins on our system. Okay, let me clear my screen now. Let me go back and check what is the next thing that we have. If you see here, we have installed Jenkins. Next thing is to check if this uh, Jenkins server uh, is there and uh, if you want, you can start it. Okay, so the command to start is this one. Let me copy that sudo systemctl start jenkins.service. Okay, let me go back and paste it in my EC2. I'll hit enter. So that basically started my Jenkins. So if you want to verify if it is running or not, you can check the status. So instead of start here, you can mention status. Okay, let me copy this one and go back here once again and I'll paste it here. If it is active and running, that means it is running. The Jenkins application is running already. If you see here, since Sunday, 57 56 seconds ago it's it is running okay let me hit ctrl c and come out of it let me clear the screen now okay so which confirms that the jenkins is already running okay with jenkins installed we can proceed with adjusting the firewall settings by default your jenkins application will run on port 8080 right in order to ensure that this port is accessible we need to configure the built-in Ubuntu firewall that is UFW, right? Ubuntu firewall to open the port 8080 and enable the firewall. So you need to use the following two commands. These are the commands to enable that uh, to allow this Ubuntu firewall to access. Okay, so let me copy this command first. Basically, it is allowing the firewall. So to open this port 8080. Okay, so let me paste that here. Okay, so if you see rules updated. Next, let me check what is the next command I need to update. I mean, I need to enable that one. Let me copy that and I'll paste it here again. I'll hit enter. So it is asking command will uh, disrupt existing SSH connections. So I'm okay with that because I have not connected to any, any other machines here. So uh, I'm good with that. So if you see here, it confirms firewall is active and enabled on the system startup. Okay, so we are done here. Next, after completing that step, you will have to check if the, if you, you will have to test whether the firewall is active and running. Right. So for that, you will have to uh, run this command sudo ufw, right, Ubuntu firewall and the status. Let me copy that and I'll paste it here. If you see, we added port 8080 and we are allowing anywhere, right? Basically, we are allowing from anywhere. Okay. So that is done. Now, if you want to check your instance, I mean, the Jenkins is installed on your system already right so we check the status and we are also allowing in the port also right now let us go back and copy our public ip address of your aws ec2 and paste it in the browser so this application is running on port 8080 so along with your public ip append it with the colon and 8080 so ch check if your jenkins is installed or not okay let me go back to my ec2 console 
and I'll copy my public IP. So just copy your public IP here, paste it in the browser and add a colon with 8080. Okay, hit enter. So Jenkins is installed. So check if it is installed already, right? If you do not get this screen, this is actually the start getting started page of your Jenkins. And if you see here, Jenkins icon is also there, right? If you do not get this page, so make sure to add an entry in your security group also. So we added entry in the Ubuntu firewall. If you miss to add an entry for 8080 in your security group, it will not work, right? So let us check our security group here once. So if you see, this is the security group that I have attached. If you see, I have allowed SSH connection, HTTP and HTTPS. And along with that, I'm also allowing port 8080. So that is why I'm able to get this one. So don't come and comment in the uh, comment box saying that you are not able to access. So go ahead and check your security group first. Okay, so that is important. Okay, now, so if you see here, unlock uh, getting started, you, the first thing that it is saying is unlock Jenkins. To ensure Jenkins is securely set up by administrator, a password has been written to log and this file is in the server. So where is that password? In this location. Okay, you will have to go to this location and get the password and paste it here. Okay, for that also I've already created that command here, sudo cat with the same with the same path, whatever you path you saw there, the same path I have uh, pasted here. Okay, sudo cat and this path. So inside that you will have your password and you can make use of that. Okay, let me paste it in my uh, EC2. Okay, so here if you see this is our administrator password. So let me copy that. Make sure you don't show this to anyone. Okay, because that will be a security risk. Okay, let me come back to my Jenkins and I'll paste my administrator password here and I'll click on continue. So by default, uh, it will ask you for uh, installing the suggested plugins. So Jenkins has uh, some suggested plugins. So if you want to install that, you can go ahead and click on this one. If you do not want, you can also go ahead and select your own plugins, which you want. Okay. I'll go ahead and install selected, I mean, suggested plugins. Okay. So there are pretty much, uh, you know, for, you know, 10 to 15 uh, plugins. If you see here, these are the suggested plugins. It is installing one by one. So it is really quick, right? If you see here, if your internet connection is very good, it is going to, uh, you know, download all of the plugins really quick, right? So let's wait for that to be completed. Okay. We have only few of them left. I think we are, we are almost done, right? So let's wait for that to complete it. Okay, so installation of plugins, selected plugins or the recommended plugins is done. Now we want to create our first admin user. Okay, so always, uh, you know, you can create your own uh, admin user. So I'll just say admin, my first admin uh, would be admin and I'll also provide a password to him. Okay, I'll confirm the password here and full name. I'll just say admin and whatever the, uh, you know, uh, whatever the um, company that you are, you, you can provide that email address here. I'll just say a monk in cloud at gmail.com. Okay, so if you do not want to provide an email address, just say test at uh, gmail.com. So it is not mandatory, but you have to provide an email address. Even if you provide a, you know, different one or invalid email address, that is fine. Right. I'll just say test at gmail.com and I'll click on save and continue. Okay. So here it will ask the Jenkins URL. If you note here, our public IP address is there here, right? With the colon 8080 port, right? So if you see here, 54.54.89.104.105 with colon 8080. So, and along with that, it is working on HTTP. Right. If you want to provide your own custom domain name, you can add it here and make some changes also. Right. So that is also important. Okay. I'm good with this one and I'll say save and finish. Okay. So it confirms saying Jenkins is ready. Now let's say start using Jenkins. Okay. So this is the dashboard of your Jenkins. So this is how you install your Jenkins and configure it.
all right so that's it for today's video if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends and i've also noticed that 80 percent of my channel viewers haven't subscribed to the channel please please consider subscribing and love you all thank you and i'll see you in the next one